Hi guys, this is Kevin for pixavert.com. In this video, we are going to be taking this image here and applying a couple of filters inside of Nick Collection to create this effect. So if you haven't used the Nick Collection before, you'll be perhaps a little bit surprised at how easy it is to get a really dramatic effect very quickly. I'm going to switch off the effect that we got and we're going to go back to the original. So we're going to go to filter Nick Collection Color Effects Pro number four. I'm going to have a download link for the Nick Collection in the description if you want to try it out. We start off with a very quick tour. Uh, we've got some recipes here, which are things that the software comes with and some which I created. I'm going to show you how to save recipes a little bit later on. And then we've got above that the filters that we're going to be using. The filters will appear here as we add them. I'm going to add the first filter and it's going to be the one called Pro Contrast. This is a really useful one. When we add it, it does absolutely nothing because I've got it set at the default. And to get it to default, just click on the menu here and choose reset. There are two reset options. The lower one will take it back to default. We can then apply a number of uh, options. One is the color correction. The second one is the contrast correction. And then there's this third thing, which is maybe the most useful one called dynamic contrast. After that, we'll add a second filter. But first of all, let's get the settings for this particular image in Pro Contrast. I'm going to shift the correct color cast to around 50%. We've got a warm cast. We can change it to something a little bit cooler at 100. I'm going to keep it around 50%. And then for the correct contrast, what we'll do there is increase that, but it has a really major effect. So we don't want to go too hard. I'm going to keep it around 25%. The dynamic contrast is really useful. We can go really hard with this one. I'm going to bring it to around 70, 71%. So that gives us a really nice change inside the image. We've got maybe more clear colors. The model's face is a little bit brighter. I think with this picture, the model is obviously wearing a hat, which is obscuring the sun or obscuring her face. And we, we're getting indirect light lighting up her face. This pro contrast and its settings just really changes the, the dynamics of the image. So we've got a much more clear looking face. We are going to shift the highlight settings. This is a really subtle effect. We're going to shift it to around 50%. You can barely see any change. But we'll do it before and after. You can see that's going to give us much of our final outcome. We're going to choose Add Filter, which is this button here. And that opens up space for a new filter. I'm going to go and choose one called Darken Lighten Center, which is kind of a weird name for a filter. But let me switch it off and you can see what it does. We'll go to Shape and I'm going to choose number two. That's a little bit softer than the other shape. The center luminosity is at 25, border luminosity is at 50 or minus 50. And if I move these around, you can see what they're doing. You can see what they're adding to the mix. So that's the border luminosity. We'll keep those at 25 and minus 50. The center size will go up a little bit. And that just makes things a little bit brighter in the center. And finally, a very subtle effect. I'm going to click on place center and I'm going to click around the model's face. The effect is going to be really subtle. You're going to have to watch very carefully to see what this one does. What that does, it just changes the center of gravity of the lightning effect so that it's more in the upper part of the image in the model's face area. So that is it. If you wanted to save this as a recipe, you come here, click save recipe and you give your recipe a name, hit OK, and it will come up here in the recipe section. 
um, then we hit OK and that will apply the effect to a new layer. And there we are, it's all done, it's got a new layer and this is the original one, this is the one that I did just now. So you can tell that they are quite similar. I think I prefer the original one. I think that had a slightly more vibrant colors. So that's going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to ask you a question before I go. Uh, I did a video recently on the Nick collection and how DxO came out with a new version of the Nick collection after about two years of Google doing nothing with, with, the, with the software. I'm interested to know if you guys have moved over to the new version of the Nick software. Uh, if you haven't moved over to the new version yet, if you're still using the old Google version, what would make you want to move over to the new version? What new features would really compel you to decide, okay, I'm going to buy the new one now? That's going to be it for this one. Uh, leave a comment in the, in, in the comment section. Hit the like button if you like the video. Share the video with someone else who might like it. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.